for this video and hear what he has to say. The way out. When people are stuck at a level in business, in life, in ministry, in ministry you get to a point where you don't know what to do again. You've done everything to do. Let me show you the mystery. Are you ready? It says trust in the Lord with all your heart <laughs> and lean not unto what? So the first point is you have understanding. You are not daft. You don't need to ask God, Lord, do you know I'm daft? He already told you I'm aware you have understanding. Correct? Next verse. This is where the miracle is. Everyone, please read if you are anointed. One, two, read. Stop. When you get to a crossroad in your life, house of David, hear me, because it will happen. In any area of your life, a time must come when you will be stuck and standing before you and around you will be people hoping that their prophecies of doom over your life will come to pass. Finally, he has been trapped. Finally, he has been trapped. They prophesied it. They hoped you will fall. And right now you are in a situation that if God does not intervene, what they said will happen. Let me show you the key. He says, in all your ways, he uses a very subtle term, acknowledge him. Please open the eyes of your spirit. Acknowledge him. And then the reward is that he will direct. All of a sudden a road will come out. Remember, he can become a road. I am the way. Are we together? So it's not just that he will show you. There is no way physically. Then he comes to become the way and say, follow me. Hi. Imagine that I'm stuck here. And somebody comes and I don't see this again. I see road and then I start following it. When you find out this principle, those who look for your downfall will keep looking forever. Because when men are cast down, and you are part of them all of a sudden god will route another mystery and you will come out like no smell of smoke two people in the same situation one escapes and leaves the other as if god is not fair let me show you the key in all your ways the moment this is why testimonies are important in the life of a believer listen carefully testimonies are a documentation of the faithfulness of God every time God gives you a testimony you should have a record of it I don't mean just writing it archive it because it will be the stimulator of the next one listen carefully when you get to a crossroad where there is nothing he says forget about the problem turn back and start saying where is the God that saved me yesterday where is the one who I would have died now I'm looking for 300 members where is the one that gave me grace to buy the first mic in all your ways let me tell you how to acknowledge God listen carefully we call this mystery many names in the body of Christ this key you know what it means to acknowledge look at the way your dear pastor introduced me you see that oh there is a man here there is this and that if you are a businessman sir and i'm about to introduce you in a very prestigious way i begin to list your accolades the things you have done in 1999 he was awarded the most successful businessman in lagos in 2000 against all odds he had the highest returns in his bank in 2001 and everybody's listening i said ladies and gentlemen we cannot continue until we rise up on our feet and acknowledge so 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 and so in all your ways there is no door it's not that it cannot be opened there is no door and the bible says forget about that rent issue and turn to him and start singing a song and say lord i remembered when i wrote jesse i didn't write one paper it still came out a where is the god who gave me that a i may be so old but i've forgotten leave rent issue in all your ways you can do it in a dance come on yoruba people you can do it in a song listen this is what we call the mystery of praise it's not just praise it's a system in the kingdom it's a bailout a mysterious bailout system <sighs> pastor 
the nation of Israel applied this. Every time their enemies encompassed them and there was no hope, they would just gather around and say, leave the issue of enemies. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. It was a chant. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. A brother was supposed to marry you and he said something happened i've changed my mind say no 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 i must force this it must work uh -uh. the bible says you are at a crossroad turn back lock your door with tears coming in your eyes write down your prayer request and say lord i am dancing before you i rejoice before you the bible says the moment you do that there is a promise a way out for you move mountains you cause walls to fall and with your power you perform miracles there is nothing absolutely that's impossible so i'm standing here only because you made a way second chronicles 20 it was clear that three nations were coming together to defeat the nation of israel and the bible says it was clear defeat was imminent and all of a sudden he said this one is not just the issue of fighting with swords gather the singers and begin to invoke his goodness it was the song of miriam i will sing unto the lord for he has triumphed gloriously the horses and his rider brothers and sisters you are wasting your victory with lack of testimonies you have so many testimonies and you've thrown them where is the god who brought you to lagos when you came to lagos you wanted to rush back now you are two years and just because there is no job you are crying in front of a man's office lock the door and say father when I came and I stopped at the bus stop, there was no way out. You called a mysterious person to help me. Is it a job you cannot give me? I dance before you. I dance before the God of heaven. Listen. A woman danced before a king and removed the head of a prophet. Dance before a king and even a prophet's head went as a prize. They asked Bishop Oyedeko, Kenneth, Kenneth Copeland asked him, Pastor, and said, you claim we are the ones who trained you in the matters of faith. How come you have so much crowds? And he laughed. He said, I dance every one of them into that tabernacle. I dance every one of them. A dance is not just shaking your body. It's a deep mystery in the spirit. Ask David. Ask David. When David was dancing, his wife looked at him and said, so this is now how stupid you are. And David said, you better join me. Remember when I was in the wilderness, I'm dancing before the God who took the kingdom from your father and gave me so that somebody will not take the kingdom from me. Listen, when David stood before Goliath, it was clear that they would defeat them. Hear what he said, the God, come on now. In all your ways, acknowledge him. It is a Goliath. Don't play with me. I'm of the tribe of the Benjamites. Uh -uh. The God. You do it here in this side of God's kingdom. Where when you see a rich man, you sing a song with his name and dance. And say now you are the one that gave food to 20 people. He wants to ignore you, but he can't. He will pretend as if he's not nice. And later he turns and starts smiling and removes what he didn't plan to give. Listen, listen. I do it, pastor. I write everything that represents a challenge and I lock myself. I sing and dance like a fool. And all of a sudden, my God, 
somebody will stop sleeping because I danced. Simple. Your dance can wake your helpers. Your dance can shake the gates of hell. Your singing, acknowledgement. Don't act as if God has not done anything for you. Lord, I remember the time I had headache and you healed me. Do you know why I believe God for anything, especially when I pray for people? I've shared with you my testimony. Maybe you've heard it. I was diagnosed of a fungal infection at a point in my life. Pastor, this head you see was rotten. They said hair will not grow again on it. We are not teaching you cunningly devised fables. It was in 72 hours. 72 hours the Lord healed me. Believe what I'm telling you. People of God, I know we're going. The miracles will happen in minutes. This is the substance I want you to take back home. You must practice it. Go and write. Rent expired. 500,000. What do you have in your account? 500. Don't worry. Whether it's 500 or 5,000, you still need faith to bring it. Write it down. My wife is pregnant. In two months, she will give birth. The budget is 100,000. What do you have? 200 naira. Don't worry. Write it down. And when you write it, forget about Satan. And say, Lord, I remember when I was about to get married. One week to the marriage, I had not bought my suit. You raise a man to buy it for me. I remember it was with $400 I married. Jesus, I give you thanks. Where was Satan when I was getting married? Where was he when my wife was getting pregnant that delivery will now be a problem? And you sing. Add it with a dance. Sweat yourself before the gate of hell and keep quiet and watch the God of action. Ah. You're the God of miracles. Amazing God. You're the God of wonders. Hey, you're the God of miracles. Amazing, amazing God. You're the God of miracles. Sing it one more time, House of David. You're the God of wonders. Amazing God. You're the God of miracles. Amazing God. Let me show you what Jesus did. To multiply the bread they brought five loaf and two fish he did not pray he gave thanks now we are not told the content of the thanksgiving but the similitude of that was given in lazarus grief father i thank you i'm saying this so that they will learn that every time a death situation is there you don't bind and cast you bring your testimony and put it before god Please believe what I'm telling you and, and change levels overnight. Overnight. When I'm preparing for our miracle services, I worship God, I do all of this. I don't know the cases that are coming, Pastor. I don't know who is coming where. Our ministry is like a place of pilgrimage and everybody's depending on me, hoping that I know what I'm doing. I may not be sure of what I'm doing, but I know what he's doing. And all of a sudden, I kneel down and I thank him. I say, Lord, this is how many years we've been doing this. You have never failed. I give you thanks. Many of you are too big and too busy to remember what he did yesterday. That's why you cannot see it happen again. In one minute, open your mouth and mention everything he has done for you. Forget about what he has not done. Please, quickly. 